Good evening, my name is Alex Campbell and you're watching the 10th episode of Dissecting Trek. On this episode I'll be dissecting Dagger of the Mind, a classic Trek caper. This episode opens up with a convict escaping a penal colony and infiltrating the Enterprise. We get lots of close-ups of this escapee's face and he really does a good job of conveying a manic demeanour. Also, the classic symphonic score helps to ramp up the tension. So one of the main aspects of the narrative of this episode is a penal colony and I'm Australian and we all know that our country was founded as a penal colony for Britain. So as an Aussie I can really relate to this guy, he seems like a lovely chap. The convict, let's just call him Aussie Bob for now. He infiltrates the bridge of the Enterprise and he takes out a red shirt with one magnificent karate chop to the neck. Check it out. What did you say your name was? My name? My name is... It's Aussie Bob. Some people might say that the actor portraying this convict is overacting in a few places, but I like my 60 sci-fi hammy, so I think he's right on point. Dead or alive? Well, I won't let you take me back! I'm not going! I'll die first! You're here! I'm not going! No! No! Don't you remember the science lab Christmas party? Yes, I remember. You dropped yes, him? Yes, yes, I remember. He dropped a roofie in a drink. Kirk, K, eh? Giving his colleagues the old Bill Cosby treatment again. Kirk and a colleague beam down to the planet where the prison is, and upon inspection of the penal colony, Kirk realises that the prison has been experimenting on its inmates with a brain neutralising beam. It's kind of a lobotomy of sorts, but not physical. And the scene where Kirk discovers this is both confronting and distressing. They did a really good job of captivating that. Growing more terrible as you fight to remember. This episode is also the first time that we get to see the Vulcan mind melt. And I can't help but think about the audiences in the 60s seeing this for the first time. I think it would have been a very mysterious ritual and the scene is only made better by the late great Leonard Nimoy's captivating performance. I thought it did a really good job of adding that extra layer of mythos to this canon. Open your mind. We move together. Minds sharing the same thoughts. So while Kirk's investigating the brain neutralizing beam, he decides it's a good idea to test the machine's capabilities by being a guinea pig for it himself. Not Kirk's most brilliant moment, I'll admit. And yeah, of course, it all goes horribly, horribly wrong. This episode has a solid and satisfying conclusion, and we even get a Frank Grimes moment, which I thoroughly enjoyed. In conclusion, I think Star Trek works best as a social commentary, and for me, I would have liked them to explore the idea of treating prisoners unhumanely more in this episode. The brain neutralizing beam is just a part of the narrative. It's not really discussed by any of the crew members. But even though that's part of the episode that wasn't really fulfilling for me, 
This episode is still solid and entertaining. Ellen, are you all right? Yes. Well, this isn't right, Captain. Thank you for watching, and I'd really help out if you'd like, subscribe, and in the comments tell me how I got all the facts wrong and how my opinion is null and void. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>